Today we're going to try to answer the question, how does the current flow in a pot that's on top of an induction cooktop? And what do the magnetic fields look like that induce those currents? Let's look at a dry pan on an induction cooktop and see what it looks like in the infrared wavelengths. This will give us a clue as to the pattern of the heating. We're looking straight down on top of the pan and you can see that there's a donut of heat. What could be causing this? Well, if we look inside of an induction hot plate, it's pretty obvious. Check this out. What you see is a coil of copper wire wound like the groove in a phonograph record. So the electric current flows in a spiral from inside to outside, and then it alternates and goes from the outside to the inside. So if we measure the magnetic field with this coil of wire, we can see that the magnetic field lines are radial from the center to the periphery and not circumferential. On the oscilloscope screen, you can see that the 20 kilohertz signal is much less in the circumferential direction compared to the radial direction. To understand what's going on, let's look at a mock-up of this induction heating system. We're going to start with the coil. Here we have a coil. It's a copper wire uh, that winds its way around like a phonograph groove. And it's filled in all the way to the middle, unlike the picture you saw. But it'll still give us a good idea of what's going on. Now, the current flows from the inside to the periphery or from the periphery to the inside. This arrow shows the direction and magnitude of the current. The current is actually reversing 20,000 times a second. And it's a sheet of current. These wires are touching one to the other. They're insulated, so the current has to flow circumferentially, and it's oscillating back and forth. This creates a magnetic field that looks like this. The magnetic field is strongest when the current is the greatest, and when the current stops, the magnetic field disappears and reverses as the current reverses. So this is the magnetic field that's set up as a result of the flowing current. What that does to a pan that sits on top is it actually causes the pan to heat up. Now, the pan is the hottest when the current is at its maximum. In reality, the pan temperature will vary a very, very small amount at this 20,000 cycle per second rate because the time constant of the pan in this environment in air is much longer than that. But this is just to emphasize what's going on. And that heating of the pan bottom is because there's a current. And this current flows in exactly the opposite direction of the current in the coil below. And this is predicted by Lenz's law, which states that any induced current has to create a magnetic field that opposes the magnetic field that induce the current. So the current in the pan bottom basically cancels out the magnetic field that induced it. And so if you were to measure the magnetic field above the pan bottom, you'd find that it's very weak or non-existent. So this is how the, mag the uh, current in the coil produces a magnetic field, which induces a current in the pan bottom. 